Hello, I'm Sheriff Grady Judd. As many of you know, Florida lawmakers passed a law this year that authorizes most adults to carry concealed weapons and firearms without a government permit. The law was signed by Governor DeSantis and it becomes effective July the 1st. There are some eligibility requirements and rules that you need to know. Permitless carriers must have valid identification with them at all times, and they must produce the identification upon demand by a law enforcement officer. This is very important for you to remember. Your firearm must be concealed at all times. Permitless carry does not mean open carry. Open carry is still against the law in Florida. The only time you may open carry in Florida is if you are actively engaged in fishing, camping, hunting, or target shooting, or if you're traveling to or from those activities. So who can carry conceal? The rules really have not changed. They're the same as the ones for those who currently have a concealed carry permit. And those are outlined in Florida State Statute 790.06. You must be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident alien who is 21 years of age or older, and you can't have a felony conviction. There are other disqualifying conditions as described in Florida Statute 790.23, such as you can't be a habitual drunk or drug addict, you can't have been committed to a mental health institution, you can't have been found guilty of a drug crime within a three-year period, and there are a lot of other rules. Please go to the Frequently Asked Questions tab on our website, polksheriff.org, for more detailed information about who can and can't carry with or without a permit. There are also places where you can't go when you're carrying a concealed firearm. Again, these are the same places that exist in current Florida law, Chapter 790-06, to be specific. You may not carry a firearm anywhere that a private business or property owner has prohibited that. And you can't carry at schools, colleges, or universities, in bars, courthouses, police stations, or at government meetings. There are other places and circumstances where you cannot carry. Again, please go to our website, polksheriff.org, for more detailed information about where you can't carry conceal. This is very important, folks. The new law does not require that any person have any training or experience with a firearm to carry conceal. But I do encourage anyone who wants to own or possess or carry a concealed firearm to please become familiar with that weapon. Learn how to safely handle it and fire it. I'm a huge supporter of the Second Amendment, and I encourage anyone who legally can have a firearm and is comfortable handling it and using it to get one to protect yourself and your family. But good firearms training is a must. And if you don't understand the law, you can easily find yourself charged with a crime, and we never want that to occur. You must learn Florida law regarding the use of a firearm, including Florida Stand Your Ground law and the Castle Doctrine. Remember, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. In Florida, we have lots and lots of good guys, but there's still some bad guys too. And here's something else that's very important. Keep your guns secure wherever they are. Don't let some dirtbag thief steal your firearm. Don't leave it in a car or truck overnight. Keep your guns locked up. The last thing you need is a felon committing a crime with your gun. So remember, if you carry concealed in Florida, always have a valid ID with you. Don't carry your firearm openly. Make sure you're legally eligible and learn where you can and can't carry your firearm. And please, do me a favor. Don't shoot anyone that you don't have to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Stay safe out there. And as always, thank you for your support of the hardworking men and women in law enforcement. See you soon.